Hey everybody, this is uh, Coach Lee here at DMV Elite TV. I have the famous Dan Preet, uh, head coach of Bishop Walsh. Um, me and Dan go way, way, way back. Um, and Dan used to be uh, head assistant coach over at uh, Montrose Christian. Then uh, he went and he took over uh, a St. James program and put them on the map, and now he's here at Bishop Walsh first year. Talk about that first year, Coach. It's been, it's been really exciting with um, the community and the, uh, the drive behind it. Um, the community has been great, and, you know, in our first year, we've got such a uh, – We've got a talented group, but more importantly, we've got a really good character kids right now um, that helped start us this program. So, um, you know, they've, they've just done an incredible job all year long. What have been your challenges with this, the, 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 the move up to here in the Frostburg area? Well, with, with any new team and you have new players, um, getting them to play together, learning each other, it takes a while. You know, some of the my my, uh, my favorite coach of all time, Bobby Knight, and then um, you know Coach Vetter always reiterated Vetter. it. You know it takes two and a half to three years for a team to be able to know what the other guy's going to do, and you know so the, the, for us we've been together for six months, um, so it's been a great start. Um, but at the same time, you know we we do go through a couple mo moments in the game where we mentally, you know don't know what the other guy's going to do, and those runs hurt us, especially with the type of schedule we play. Yeah, I mean, I kind of saw that a little bit tonight where you were calling people to try to put them in place because they kind of just didn't know where they needed to be, and you were making a run to trying to catch up to just bring that, that lead down because they, they, they jumped out, they had a nice little 10-point gap, and you were – eating into it, but then it was just like the small mental make mistakes going down the stretch. We, we, you know, you, you got to play in these high-level games like that, you know, 32-minute game. You got to play at the top of your game for 20 to 29 minutes. Um, right now, we're probably at 24 to 25. Um, but against, you know, the national-level teams, you know, those two or three minutes, four minutes, they, they get you. Uh, who's the leading scorer on your team? Uh, Olivier. Olivier. Yeah, he made some uh, good shots. Uh, he, he controlled the boards a little bit early in the first half. I saw he was, like, pulling down the boards, um, which gave y'all the ability to, to push the ball down and get some open shots. Yeah, he, he's been just an absolute um, wonderful to coach. You know, this is his first real year of playing mm -hmm. in the United States. Last year he was hurt. Um, I think he maybe only played two or three games. Um, but, uh, you know, just an incredible athlete. Um, and now the mental part of the game is starting to come where um, he's starting to put it together. Oh, okay. Um, talk about your, your Montrose days and how you were able to transition by taking all that, that vast knowledge. Because, I mean, I was around, you know, I know. He, you, you, you coached a slam dunk champion. You coached multiple McDonald's All-Americans. You coached probably the second greatest player uh, that we have in the NBA. Um, talk about how you're trying to take that culture and then move from program to program to actually build something that, you know, the people up here love it because they love you. Yeah. They packed that stadium tonight. Yeah, uh, you know. The one thing I learned from Coach Vetter over 12 seasons was, um, you know, you coach them the same. You know, no matter how good the player is, uh, you still got to coach them. Um, you still got to get mad at them. You still got to give them love. Um, and so, you know, there's, there's times, um, you know, where, where our best players, you know, we get on them. And Coach was, you know, that was the great thing about them. Preparation and Preparation. being able to coach your best player and maybe the guy that was just a role player on the bench. And, um, you know, that, that was what I learned the most from him. So, um, you know, that rolls over to our guys. I mean, I'm probably harder on our starters than I am some of the other guys, but um, that's the way I was taught. And, um, you know, you, know you, you can't – they've got to continue to grow and realize that there's so many more steps to this. And, you know, they're high school. Mm -hmm. you know, his philosophy and our philosophy was always 
we don't want to just get them to college. We want them to be prepared when they go to college. Yes. So that's that was important. that was the most important thing. It was the the practice, the hard practice. Yeah. <laughs> Long. <laughs> the games were easy. The practices were yeah, hard. <laughs> um, what do you What do you have coming up in the future here uh, at Bishop Walsh? I mean, because you know they really look good. They really yeah. look good. You know, we, we you know, the one interesting about thing about this area is you know over the last what I guess month month and a half um, we held our tournament, the Bob Kirk Invitational. Yes, I remember. Um, which was number one team in the country, five, nine, and all that. Um, and then, you know, I guess about a week and a half later, there was a girls' tournament. You know, oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Bishop McNamara, St. Francis, uh, New Hope, um, and some of the best teams in the country. And now you have, you know, the Alhambra, the ACIT. And, and, and just a month, you know, a month and a half, there's been some of the best basketball in the country played right. in Cumberland. And, you know, I, you know, that's – the people up here just love it. They get behind it. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, we're just going to continue to grow and, you know, we started our culture and, you know, next year will be a new year, new challenge, but uh, we'll have one year under our belt and hopefully every year we can continue to improve. Uh, who do you play tomorrow? Uh, the uh, uh, loser of this game out here between Paul the Sixth and uh, Mount St. Joseph. Okay. Well, look, I want to get you back out here so you can actually scout. Look, this is Coach Flea here. I'm with a guy that I've known for years, Coach Dan Preet. Thank you.